Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. Now, as the title suggests, this is a book about time management, and the key message really is to only have things in on your mind when you're actually going to take action and complete them. Otherwise, it just clutters your mind and stops you attaining the goals that you've set out for yourself. Now, the flow state that we all know about, this is when you get lost in the moment, totally absorbed in a task in your peak of productivity. Interestingly, he relates this in this book a bit to the martial arts state of mind like water. And that's quite a good way of visualizing it because you're there and you're adapting to the moment and you can really let your creative energies flow. One of the main points is a robust management system. Now, to be honest with you, this book's a bit out of date because he's talking about PDAs. We now mainly have smartphones, but that's great. The principles remain. What we want to be able to do is get information when we want it and we can find it and also remind us so we're not thinking, ah, I should do that. And if you are thinking, oh, I need to do this, I need to do this, it's actually wasting your mental energy. And sometimes if you make that commitment with yourself that you're going to do something and don't do it, then it can actually drain you. So just remember, you can renegotiate with yourself and re-establish your commitments. An interesting point is turning a list into an action point list. So you've got something that you want to achieve and you break it down into the action points that would allow you to achieve that goal. And ideally, you do that as soon as it's on your radar. Then when you pick it up again, you know how to progress further with this. It's got a bit about managing emails, a two minute rule. You either immediately deal with it, delete it, file for future action or save for reference. I quite liked also the four criteria model for choosing actions in the moment. That first one is the context, you know, where are you? Do you have the opportunity to do something? Two, time. You know, do you have time to complete this task? Three, energy available, i.e. is this a good time? We know that your productivity and your mindset fluctuates. Everybody's different through the day. So it may be that first thing in the morning is a great time to do your main thinking tasks. Or for somebody else, that may be the time their mind isn't quite as sharp yet and doing different tasks that you don't need to apply your full mental capabilities to would be best there. The fourth is priority. Obviously, you only really want to do tasks that are a priority to you. So, hope you've found that helpful. If you can apply some of these principles, I genuinely think that it could help you to get the most out of your life. We'll see you all next time.